This game is tea and is not suitable for kids. <laughs> Don't let your kids watch it! Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, Artie! And guess. Hello, Beckers, and welcome to the Technical Challenge on Great British Bake Off Ace Attorney Edition. We're, I mean, to hear it turn about actually what we're doing today is we're cross-examining Von Karma. <laughs> In order to pin the crime on Delisha, Master used the rock salt lamp to kill the victim. You took the rock salt lamp from Delisha's room? Exactly. In order to kill Dover, he had prepared the murder weapon beforehand. But the murder weapon was found in Delisha's room. Doesn't that place suspicion on Delisha, too? <laughs> I'm not finished! Master killed Dover. He then deposited the murder weapon in Delisha's room. So, the murder weapon was the rock salt lamp hidden inside the candy castle? <laughs> I discovered the murder weapon when I entered the castle. Be thankful, defense attorney, that you too came by this information! Why was it necessary for you to enter the castle? Ah, uh, maybe he's interested in candy castles! Why you? Do you think I went in there because I WANTED to? <laughs> the detectives at the scene were useless, so I had to investigate myself, and I got cream on my shoes! I had to throw them out and get a whole new pair! I wasn't in charge of the initial investigation. Detective Bad joined the investigation halfway through. Bah! A certain work ethic is required if you are to gain my trust. <laughs> <laughs> this is a flagrant waste of time. I... I'll continue. That, I could mean that. A certain work ethic is required in order to This could also be a meme. <laughs> this is a flagrant waste of time. time. If he had left the murder weapon at the crime scene, Master would have been the one suspected. Wouldn't the body left behind in his room also be cause for suspicion? Moreover, I have a favorite saying. I'd like to share it with you. Oh boy. What do we have here? Even dogs can wait. <laughs> That's another good one. <laughs> what? Wait until I finish. What is with all of these? What is it with this game and people having god complexes? First it was the president. Yup. Then it was, uh, who was it in case two who had the god? Oh yeah, then it's Justine Courtney who's like, oh, I yeah. speak for the goddess of law herself. Yeah, yeah. And now Von Karma. Now, Von Karma's always been that way though. That's very true. That's exactly what I'd like to say to you. He couldn't move the body, but it was easy to move the murder weapon. <laughs> Are you saying that Mr. Master removed the murder weapon and hid the body in the chest? He believed that if he hid it inside his own work, it would not be discovered. I am so savory! Don't you mean, so sorry? She shows no sign of remorse. He moved the murder weapon and left the body at the scene. Ergo, there would be no evidence pointing to a specific culprit at the crime scene. How can you conclude that Mr. Master is the killer without any evidence? You think that will shake me? You disappoint me! As long as the body was found in Master's room, he's the prime suspect! Is there really no evidence pointing to anyone else at the crime scene? Surely there's room for further investigation. Insolent attorney! Another investigation is not necessary! Master must be the killer! If you think differently, cease these pointless words and speak with evidence. Think back to the crime scene. If Mr. Master isn't the killer, there must have been something there incriminating someone else. Fingerprints of Delisha. That just proves she ate stuff, though. That just proves she was in the room and could have murdered them. It seems Von Karma won't be shaken easily. I'll just have to present evidence that contradicts his reasoning. The frame finger marks, no fingerprints were found, but because it was like smudged. Crime scene notes, let's see, blah blah blah, found in this. Some circumstances, each part of the desserts in Mr. Master's room has one part missing. Okay. There's no evidence. Fake desserts. 
She oh yeah, she also had the fluorescent claw. Yeah. That's a good injection. Oh, he strains his tie. It's true that the murder weapon and bloodstains disappeared from the vicinity. However, there was still one piece of incriminating evidence left behind. Have a look at this photograph, which was taken when the body was first discovered. This cloth that was used to wrap the body, doesn't it remind you of the fluorescent cloth from Delisha's room? My, my fluorescent cloth was at the crime scene! Not very Mary Berry. Ha! Fluorescent cloth! When Mary Berry gets flustered, she's not gonna sound like herself. <laughs> you! Just what part of this cloth is fluorescent? I guess Von Karma doesn't know about this cloth secret. It looks like a normal cloth at first glance, but if you use this rainbow light device, you can make it glow. Also, subtle thing here, when Von Karma's sweating in the past, he doesn't grab his shoulder because the bullet's not in it. Oh, yeah! That is a subtle thing. It was my destiny! <laughs> yeah. Prosecutor Von Karma seems a little surprised. I don't think it was the cloth's ability to glow that surprised him. One sheet of this fluorescent cloth is currently unaccounted for. Now, I'd like you to look at the color of the cloth in this photo. Don't you think it looks like the color of the fluorescent cloth before it's been lit up? Hmph! <laughs> Both the rock salt lamp and the fluorescent cloth originally belonged to Delicia. Wouldn't it be natural to assume that this cloth was used to wrap the body? Prosecutor Von Karma, I believe the present conditions give us much reason to suspect Alicia. <laughs> <laughs> her, Was that her feet? Yeah. Oh, hold it, Greggy, do you really suspect me? I don't yet know if you are the culprit, but it is true that you're hiding something, am I right? Um, that's... So... You're saying that the murder weapon and the cloth were originally from Delisha's room? Yes. What's so funny? Just as I expected from you. The murder weapon and the cloth are not from her room. How unfortunate for you. Why? What does he mean? Before the contest began, Master noticed her violation of the rules. He confiscated the cloth and the rock salt lamp and kept them in his room for safekeeping. What? <laughs> Wait, that's great. Also, why are they playing Miles Edgeworth's theme? This is actually the, just the Von Karma prosecutor theme. Mainly oh, like... used for Franziska. Edgeworth's version is slightly different than this. Okay. And we got Santa in the background. A surprise Santa. The victim was not seen as he stayed locked up in his room after the contest had begun. The only one who could have unlocked the locked rooms was Jeff Master. And the murder weapon, the rock salt lamp, was being kept in Master's room. I have one question. What? Is there a contestant we haven't met yet? We ha I mean, we haven't talked to Dover because he's Cause dead. Because he's dead, but like the other dude, the dude that's wearing all red, that's the Gustavia other contestant. Gustavia is the other one, yeah. Okay. This should be decisive evidence in proving Master's guilt. Defense attorney... You've lost to me before you even had a chance to stand in court. What's this? What? what uh, was all our investigating for nothing? Miss Delicious, why didn't you tell us about your confiscated items? No, oh, well, Manny said I'd look suspicious if I did. Prosecutor Von Karma. And it's true, you all suspect me, don't you? How clumsy of you, defense attorney. Von Karma. So that's why he let us investigate Delisha's room. And in your clumsiness, there's one more thing I need to inform you of. Two sets of fingerprints were found on the murder weapon. Two? Two. Yes, they belong to Jeff Master and Delisha Scones. No other fingerprints were found. After Master killed Dover with the confiscated rock salt lamp, he foolishly concealed the murder weapon, bearing his own fingerprints in its owner's room. I don't even need to prove my case in court. I have more than enough perfect evidence to prove Master's guilt. Hold it. I still have some doubts about the fluorescent cloth found in Mr. Master's room. Bah! 
irrelevant. After disposing of the body, he intended to return it to Delisha's room. <sighs> I don't have enough information to refute Von Karma's reasoning. Nothing left to say. If your job is done, leave this place! Th that's I can't give up yet. Humph! <laughs> We've wasted enough time as it is! Bad, take them away! There are still some doubts left in our investigation. Detective Bad? What's the meaning of this? It's not my nature to leave any doubts behind. There is still one piece of evidence that is yet to be identified. That's right. There are still traces of someone left behind. Bah! Talk about your doubts as much as you want later. But this, my dear attorney, is none of your business. No, I also have some doubts about one piece of evidence. It's likely that I have the same doubts Detective Bad has. What?! This is the piece of evidence left in Mr. Master's room that is yet to be identified. Is it the chocolate covered in blood? Um... Oh yeah, because that was ripped out? Uh-huh. <laughs> we still do not know the true nature of this piece of evidence. This is not the same doubt I had. Oh. The only thing I question here is you, defense attorney. There could be no unidentified evidence before Von Karma! <laughs> it wasn't this. <laughs> Please wait, I still have some doubts left. Where is the crust? Somebody left gloved finger marks on one of Mr. Master's desserts. If these were the killer's finger marks, then it's possible that the killer also didn't leave any fingerprints on the murder weapon. How did you know about the state of the crime scene? I gave them. Permission to investigate. You Bad! What possessed you to let a defense attorney into the crime scene? <laughs> I don't recall you telling me not to let them in. Bah! Such impudence! You best remember, Bad. Your salary re review depends on me! <laughs> this isn't good for Bad. I I'm so glad I have a kind boss like Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> Your salary review depends on how you perform here. Hmph! I'm surprised at what a mere attorney like you managed to uncover in such a short time. However, it's possible those finger marks were Master's own doing. Because he always wore gloves while cooking. Do you have evidence that those finger marks were left by Master? And moreover, there are still a few points of suspicion surrounding Delicia. Oh? You still haven't given up on that? Ugh. Greggy, you still suspect me! I've already apologized for stealing a few bites. I don't want to suspect you. However, I can't easily trust those who tell lies. You must still be hiding something. Ugh, Greggy's a bully. Don't you know the temperature fresh cream must be kept at? You call yourself a dessert chef, but you lack even the most basic knowledge. Uh, I'm sorry. For my lack of knowledge. In your case, it's not even about the lack of knowledge. In truth, you don't even know how to make desserts, do you? Defense attorney! Stop trying to force your own reasoning. In a court of law, the evidence tells all. That's fine. We've got some evidence for you. If you say the witness is lying, show it with evidence! We're not in court yet, but very well. This evidence shows that Delicia can't make desserts. It's her stupid plastic molds. The only things Delisha made were those that broke the rules. The lamp and the cloth that broke the rules were being held in Master's room. There is no way the witness could have returned them to her room. Those were not the only fake desserts she made. What? Her desserts may look like something out of a fairy tale at first glance. But in reality, they are nothing but mannequins decorated with cream. Apart from the cream, they're all fake! This is not something one aiming to become the world's greatest pastry chef would do. Is this true, Bad? Yes, my shoes can attest to that. 
Probably. Man oh, Manfred just hasn't checked his shoes. Oh, cream! I'm running oh! over my shoe! The trains! No! <laughs> Will that be enough to convince Prosecutor Von Karma? Nothing will be enough to convince Prosecutor Von Karma. Even when the bullet is shoved in his face, he's like, that, That's not my bullet! <laughs> that could've been anybody's! <laughs> Once he sees Delisha, what Delisha has done, he'll have no choice but to be convinced. Delisha, the fact that your actions could lead you to being a suspect is no laughing matter. That's... I didn't murder! Isn't it time you told us the whole truth? Who are you, and why were you indulging yourself in another contestant's work? Yes, see, I understand. The truth is, I'm not really a dessert chef like I led you to believe. I'm actually a pharmacist. What? A pharmacist? That's a completely different occupation. It's no wonder he couldn't hide his surprise. Why is a pharmacist like you participating in this contest? I just love eating desserts. I joined because I thought I'd be able to eat some of Jeffy's desserts. I never thought I'd end up making it to the finals. How did she make it to the finals if they were fake? Wouldn't they like try- Like I said, you would have to be like, This dessert is like 16 types of pie, all stacked <laughs> on top of each other, and then they're like, mm, Let's try each there. <laughs> Soggy bottom. <laughs> <laughs> and then just like keeps going. You can't just be like, ooh, it's so pretty. The Full cream. Marks. And get that far without knowing that the cream would disintegrate at <laughs> a certain temperature. <laughs> right. Let's just let Von Karma sweat a little more. Even Prosecutor Von Karma is at a loss for words. So, so that's the real reason why you entered the contest? Yes, yeah, see. As expected, Jeffy's desserts were oh so good. So, the gloved finger marks on the picture frame were your doing? <laughs> no way! I never would wore gloves! Delisha's fingerprints were found on Mr. Master's chocolates. So it is true that she wasn't wearing gloves. Yes, he... Exactly. You do believe me, Greggy. Is your face stuffed with nothing but desserts?! <laughs> Sorry, Manny. I think it's her belly that's stuffed. Were Master's desserts all that you ate? Actually, no. After the d afternoon tea, I also ate Icy's desserts. You mean you entered the victim's room? Yes, see, exactly. The room was empty after all. Perhaps the victim was already dead by then. My first bite tasted way too salty and I couldn't eat it! She ate the blood chocolate. This is the, uh, sherbet room. Maybe he mixed up the salt with the sugar and then was like, Ugh. Mixed up- <laughs> That Maybe wouldn't freeze egg. properly. But you can freeze it. Salt right? doesn't freeze near the same way that sugar does. Yeah, because that's why if you freeze salt water, it becomes it, fresh water. Yeah, it separates. So I ate the delicious star-shaped dessert that was nearby. Miss Delicious, you really are a glutton. It is rare that you see a woman with this kind of appetite. That's all I did. Greggy, Manny, yeah, everyone! I'm sorry I caused you trouble. Now that you've told us the truth, everything's fine. There's no need to apologize. No, she lied, she has to apologize. This does not mean that your testimony is trustworthy. I'll be investigating the victim's room after this. Only then will I decide if your testimony is true. Prosecutor Von Karma, I'd like to go as well. I also need to ascertain whether my reasoning up until now has been correct. Hmph! I'll let you follow, but I have no intention of letting you investigate. That's enough for me. Cool. December 24th, 9, 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. <laughs> no, you know that, right? No. Rent. No. December 24th, 9 p.m. No. Eastern Standard no. Time. No, I don't know rent. From here on in, I write without a script. Dover's room. This! What is the meaning of this? Uh... Oh? Uh, the desserts adorned in the victim's room had disappeared without a trace. Was this the true killer's doing? Girl just ate all of them. A body that was hidden inside a dessert, and a murder weapon that was moved. Further investigation would be required to arrive at the truth of this case.
Boop, oh, boop, well, we've still got more time, so... we we'll... got some time. No need to save. Don't save in the middle of an, of an LP. Or in the oh, middle. we're back to normal. That's fine. April 2nd, 10.15 a.m., Zodiac Art Gallery, Fountain Patio. Yeah, so this is kind of like a you alternate between Miles and Gregory. I'm down Sounds cool, except that drags the case way longer than it needs to be. So that means there's like two cases all at once. Basically. Oops, I guess I went on there for a little too long. Something like that happened. I have no idea. None of the case files I read went into such detail. <laughs> well, I doubt there would be anything in there that would be inconvenient to the prosecution. Especially with that Von Karma at the head. How did the investigation go from there? The desserts had disappeared from the victim's room, so the investigation hit a rough patch. Thanks to that, it took about a whole year before a verdict was handed down. A whole year? One whole year. This was before the whole three-day pre-trial system was established. Trials didn't need to finish in the short amount of time that they do now. I see. Did they ever find out why the victim's dessert disappeared? Well, kinda. His dessert was like a candy ice sculpture made from sherbet. Since it was made from ice, the general consensus was that it had melted. However, that might not be quite the case. What do you mean? This museum used to be Mr. Master's mansion. The stage of the IS-7 incident. And in this very place, they're, ex they're exhibiting the Sherbet Salon from 18 years ago. The victim's dessert? Yep. Though it could just be a replica of the original. That's why Uncle Ray had to come today to check it out. And for your old man, too. Now then, let's get a move on and check out the room. I'm pretty sure it's over by the Winter Palace. We walk in, we walk in, roll in. Hmm, the Winter Palace should be... Huh? It's locked up. That's odd. They've already opened the museum. Mr. Shields, according to the pamphlet we received at the entrance, the Winter Palace is over here. Really? I could have sworn it was this one. Alright, let's scoot. We gotta confirm the truth of what happened 18 years ago. <laughs> oh, I forgot they came back! <laughs> no! No, I don't remember what I did for her! That's okay. You changed it like five times. <laughs> <laughs> April, tw April 12th? April 2nd, 10.20 a.m. Zodiac Art Gallery Winter Palace. Also, Yu-Gi-Oh's here. I forgot that. Oh, I forgot about that kid, too. Man, it's still as cold as ever. Uncle Ray's gonna freeze solid. It seems the Winter Palace lives up to its name. It's like a freezer in here. With the light dimmed like this, it's almost as if the room itself is made of ice. This is literally the game where it's like, who haven't we brought back before? Okay, everyone we haven't brought back is, is getting brought Cody? back. Cody? What? It's not Cody. Oh. It could have been Cody, but it's not Cody. <laughs> I think the control panel for the room temperature is on the back wall. Miles, why don't you check what the temperature is set at for me? Uncle Ray's gonna give the curator a piece of his mind later. It's way too cold in here. Hmm, very well. But if you want to look around the room a bit, feel free to stay or freeze to your heart's content. I'll get the camera ready. I want to take some pictures of this place and show it to your old man. Understood. Alright, well, let's talk to them first. Well, how about this? I'll yell out, Master Mask is here! Yes, it's me! I'm Master Mask! Good, good. Wait, Ronnie, if you say that, you'll get arrested! Come on, if we don't plan properly, we won't be able to sell it. What are these two talking about? <laughs> They're literally just a cameo. Yep. There's a boy with a school bag. Did he come to the art gallery? By himself? Hmm. She even quit her job in order to run this museum. I don't really get it. Perhaps one of his parents shows knows the curator. Not really sure what voice to do. I don't know. I don't really care. <laughs> a giant block of ice is being displayed here. It appears to be quite heavy. No, the inside must be hollow. 
On the surface, there is an image of the stars and a written description. The Pleiades, also known as the Seven Sisters. The Pleiades. Oh, the Pleiades. Oh, thank you. A star cluster that comprises a part of Taurus. But for all of these stars to be grouped together as a cluster. The ways of the ancient people must have been very imprecise. Stare at him. This rock salt lamp is lighting up the constellation chart. I see. Gemini and Taurus are constellations that can be seen in the winter. Since this is the Winter Palace, perhaps that explains the winter constellations made of sherbet. According to the pamphlet, the other places, the other palaces are made of crystal. But for the Summer Palace, I think that it would be more fitting if it were made out of shaved ice. Well, no. That would make it exactly the same as this room. Make it out of sand. Hmm. Sand sculpture. Hmm. Mr. Shields, I can't find the temperature control panel. Ah, right. They keep it where it's hard to find. Just one moment. Huh? It's locked. Makes sense. <laughs> they wouldn't want the guests changing the temperature themselves. According to this pamphlet, the Winter Palace has a temperature of 27 degrees Fahrenheit. Brr! Now that is cold. Uncle Ray's gonna freeze to death. <laughs> Guess I'll need to find someone to share body heat with. Oh my Preferably god. Preferably a beautiful lady. <laughs> oh, great. Oh, are you trying to freeze me to death as well with those cold eyes? Of course not. Look at that. For some reason, a giant block of ice is on display. There's a description written on the surface. Castor and Pollux. Every December, large meteor showers appear in the direction of these two stars. And so, mask to mask! And then, I... Those two are being rather noisy and distracting. It can't be helped. I should go look at another exhibit. There are two sculptures displayed here. These sculptures are replicas of the desserts that vanished 18 years ago. Impressive, huh? These sculptures made of ice. Yes. My father never got to see these ice sculptures. And now, 18 years later, I'm standing before them. Miles, sorry to bother you while you're deep in thought. Could you turn this way a little? Can you take a picture of it? Like this? Yes, yes, like that. Ah! Mr. Shields, you're not. Say cheese. I love that. That is exactly how we would take a picture, too. Yep. Mr. Shields, please don't take pictures of me. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. It's great! I just wanted to make sure the camera works okay. That camera looks quite old. Yeah, well, <laughs> that's because it's an old-fashioned camera. <laughs> you know, an instant camera. It's automatically developing the photos after shooting. Pretty cool, huh? Yes, I know. Though I've never used one. <laughs> You're quite the know-it-all. You really are the old man's son. Uh, could you move a bit? I want to take some more photos of the room. His face has taken on an unusually serious expression. He's probably thinking about the IS-7 incident. Man, I snapped a bunch, and they're already developed, see? He shoved them in my face before I could repl reply. Well, I have one more question for you, Mr. Know-It-All. Do you know what these two sculptures represent? They're sculptures of Taurus and Gemini from the Winter Constellations. Although when I look at them, I can only think of that one really annoying Cuphead fight, <laughs> where the blimp turns into the constellation. I've never played Cuphead. <laughs> Ooh, bingo! Not bad, Miles. That was an annoying fight. <laughs> That's probably why they call this room the Winter Palace. Uncle Ray is feeling generous today, so I'll give you a copy of this photo too. Uh, th thanks. Winter Palace photo data jotted down in the organizer. Are these replicas of the Constellation's desserts that were made 18 years ago? Yeah. Looks like these two sculptures are also made out of sherbet. Uncle Ray's only seen the real sculptures and photos. But these sculptures look like the real deal. This is what you wanted to show me? Yeah. I think your old man would have wanted you to see it as well. I'm sorry, Uncle Ray didn't have the courage to come here alone. Don't apologize. This was a good opportunity to learn about my father's case. That means a lot to me. The end. 
So, you want me to take another commemorative photo? No thanks. Alrighty. Now that I've got some pictures of this room, let's check out the other palaces. Might as well see them all, since we're already here. I suppose you're right. <laughs> that yell just now. It came from the fountain patio. Let's go, Miles. Everybody else is chill. April Is that Larry? <laughs> that looks like Larry. In his stupid painting outfit. April 2nd, 10.30 a.m. <laughs> Zodiac Art Gallery found patio. There's someone passed out on the floor. And that man there is. Larry! What are you doing here? No, I'm getting ahead of myself. What exactly happened here? Uh, gee! I, I saw something that no one should ever have to see again! Larry, calm down. Why is there someone passed Did out he here? He opened up his, his chest with his the, with the apron, and then he's like, <laughs> I didn't do anything. He just fell down all of a sudden. This man, he can't be. Yeah. Uh, who's talking? This is uh, Catherine Hall talking. Excuse me, but what is the matter here? You can't raise such a ruckus in the museum, boys! Hmm? The scent is... Seems like he's still breathing, but this is a bad situation. Miles, it's not safe here. Get everyone out of here. Everyone, get away from that room right now. There's poison gas coming out of it. What? Wait. What? Which room? The one that we that was locked earlier. Alright, okay. well, we'll have to figure out what the heck is going on there next time on Ace That's Attorney fun. Investigations 2. Hey, it's right around the half hour mark, so, I mean, come okay, on, what you gonna okay. do? Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, I hope you tune in next time. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.